For all the little doodads for iPhone, connect it, connect it with the battery connector, can connect up power, vary the voltage, good for troubleshooting, and then a bunch of connectors for Samsungs, Androids, and whatnot over there. Hello everybody, we are back with another video today. We are going to be looking at my mechanic octopus flex. Put a put a picture somewhere if possible to show you what it is I'm looking at. So I already took off this flex connector. I already took off the connector because I didn't have the microscope camera at the time. Uh, but yeah, I took it off because it was when I got it, it was on the piss, as one might say. It was a fine of my tweezers, but it was just basically crooked. It was crooked here, and then I was fixing it up, but then I was uh, holding it off on the side here in the air, trying to just touch it up with my soldering iron, but didn't count that it was in the air, and I melted the connector. So I've ordered new connectors now. And while I was also uh, looking into that, I also found that this 13 flex was also mangled. It was from a board with a hydro or something, I don't think so, but yeah, it's kind of all gunked up too, so I bought a new one of that. So in this video, I'm going to put a new connector on this iPhone 11, and I'm going to swap it over to the 13, and I will put a new one on that one too. Yeah, let's jump to that. Okay, so this is packaging, what I'm looking at. I haven't messed around with many connectors, but this is that, and this is that, and that is this. So I already put 138 degrees solder paste, solder paste on here when I took it off. So it's already pretty soft and whatnot. Should go on pretty okay to be honest. But it came off pretty good. So I'm not too worried. Just something I need to do. But yeah, I'll put some more flux on the guy. Probably quite a bit. Sleep easy with that much. <laughs> Sorry, I am a notorious whistler. So something about me used to but I will just reflow this now get the vibes right you know? 370 degrees 50 percent air I'm just gonna reflow it and get it all shiny the nozzle moving okay, there it goes now we attempt the same thing the connector in place should be something like this. I think I'll just drop on a little more solder. I'm saying solder place, I mean flux. Solder paste flux. Silly bugger. Great success so far. Surface tension wants to find to us. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think the problem I'm encountering here, not much solder here. And let's want to pull it, it's kind of sucking it sideways. Maybe I'll hold it. Bit more. That's probably what happened because it was on the same angle when I took it off. Large portions pulling it quite hard in relation to this little these little guys. So it's gone on the piers. On an angle. Okay, round one did not go to plan. Okay, we have backup. Help me out a bit, maybe I'll try wick some off. There's not so much. Pulling it back against me. Mm. 
but these are these pads are quite big, but I should be able to tack them on afterwards even. So maybe I can just use these little guys to hold it in place until I tack bigger ones on. I'm going to leave it there because these removably ground pads are holding on the sides. I can just come in and just little do little tacks here. I'm going to go with safest option at this point. Happy, happy days. Mm -hmm. Then again, I know this is the reason it burnt in the first place, but the whole concept of what I have here, so like when I said it was off in the air, when the connector is on this right now, it's acting as a big heat sink. So I've got it taped to a logic board it's being held in my phone in the holder so it doesn't move around because it's quite light and flex makes it want to move. But yeah, while I'm doing my heat here, it's staying good, burning, melting the heat dated through the rest of the PCB logic board. Hopefully now when I use the soldering iron, it's not going to do the same things it did the other day. Because that sucks. Find a dosy do where I can see and you can see. <laughs> Oh man, look at that. Clean the guy up. That's purple alcohol, usually helps. Ah. Oh man. I have an iPhone 11 board here. Let's see if it works. The solder looks a little high, and that's one side. Okay, I'm gonna come back in just with the. The soldering iron, try to just tap it. See what happens with flux, you put it down, it just keeps oozing out. I wipe it off sometimes, I don't wipe it off too much comes with me. Yeah, let's see, a little tappy tappy. But yeah, that's a win for the boys. Tiny tack, I think will be good. Tiny tack, tiny tack. I think we're cooking. I think we're cooking. Not the prettiest thing, it's functional. If it ever breaks, now a guy who can fix it. Seems good. Yeah, it looks pretty good to me. So, cleaning job. Though and air. As a purple alcohol. Get the brush out there. Okay. Over here. this thingy but do current draw see a full current draw so next to the board not coming off not coming off that's a success eh okay now I'll get set up set up for 13 yes I don't know what happened to this one but it's mangled I've been playing around with some stuff you know while I was learning the things but I don't remember anything having that kind of car and draw like my my uh, power supply only puts out a 5 amp max car in at any time and 5 amps wouldn't do this. I don't know. Probably leaning towards it came from factory like that, but yeah, unfortunate. But here we go. The name of content. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, it should be pretty straightforward. These guys take place. I don't need them, but. And storage. Yes, yeah. Here we go. Back to the camera. Can you even figure out how small that is? Look how small that is. So, same routine. A little side by side. Uh, here's the old. Uh, the bin you go. So I kind of liked how that went last time, to be fair. I'm going to use this little bit of solder that's here, get it to hold there, and I'll go around with the soldering iron afterwards and make sure they're all good. I don't think there should be issues with twisting like that one did. Next is pretty symmetrical. Any we tend. I'm gonna do the whole thing. I don't think it's gonna be a problem, but the reason that happened is that uh, metal conducts, metal absorbs heat really well, right? Better than plastics and whatnot, but it absorbs, it absorbs it anyway, better than the air, like that, for example. And uh, yeah, so as I've just been resting it there, just the tweezers are absorbing a lot of heat, and then now it um, got to that point where it was melting that, which I could have been more careful of, but. I believe that degree of damage is recovered. Little thoughts. Boxy thoughts. Success there. Okay. Okay, so that little little tab there may do something. Take them off. Okay. You guys are clean the look. Brush wipe with the cloth. Not pretty better. Looks pretty good. Doable, pretty usable, pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good. Do the same thing. See if I've got a board. Yeah, I got a 13. So. 13 Pro EU. I'm going to look at the schematic. I'm not totally sure which one. It looks the same. It looks similar. This guy. You see there's two than the one. Two than one. Two than one. Maybe. Other side. Probably be that. The XW is a board view software that is a third party software that congregates a lot of information about the boards, including imagery of where things are kept on the board. Correct. Okay, moment of truth. I 
There you go. A blue the gentle thing. Coming with Bada bing bada boom. Huh? How's that, eh? A bit of a how-to. On fixing your your do that. I'll even pull it off. Look. Look, I'll show you. No, I put it in a thingy, but here it is. Here's my guy. Got all the little doodads for iPhone. Connect it, connects it with the battery connects. I can connect up power, vary the voltage, good for troubleshooting. And then a bunch of connectors for Samsungs, Androids, and whatnot all there. But yeah, that's the end of this video. Great success. Subscribe, like the video. I'll see you in the next one.